if we took down. them house hunting with us? Every single week, me and Austin take random drives and we go house hunting together. I wouldn't feel safe getting one of these in case our kids ran across the street. Isn't it crazy that that's the conversations we're having? And it feels good. Normal. It feels normal and, normal. and good. It feels good. What would you do if I proposed to you? Would you be upset at me? I, 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 Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to be here. What's up guys? You get, yep. All so right. our trees have been falling down at the Shinaki household and so they're going down for good today. I think we should do the intro in the car. Austin, what is that? I bought this off a of TikTok shop. Of it's course. Butterfly knife. I don't have a real one, I used to, but I'm learning how to get it. Okay, what is that good for? That literally looks like a kid's toy. What do you, it, it's me learning how to use it. You wanna try? There you go. Flick it again, but then you want these pieces to touch each other. That hurts! <laughs> Remember, that's how to butterfly knife. Like I don't have to hold it. There we go. Guys, Maybe. we have a really serious question to ask you guys. Who does the better Elmo voice? That's my buddy. I'm Elmo, and I have a good day today. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, Austin. Is that better? It's close. I'm Elmo. I'm Elmo. What the heck? Guys, you don't understand. Allie never experiments with voices and things. This is, this is, I've never seen her do this. I'm see, hearing it for the first time on camera right now. <laughs> Guys, we found this new boba spot in Claremont and it actually has good boba. We've traveled to like multiple and they only have like the little popping pearls and like the yiki boba. This is the good tapioca. The yiki boba. <laughs> Release the toy. Okay. Oh. This is something me and Austin do every single week. Okay. And it's one of our favorite activities and I actually don't think we've ever done it with them. Okay. Can you guess what it is? What do we do every week? We eat food. We do cookies. We, we do, do cookies. Movies. We do movies. You're missing one. I'm not picking up. What if we down. took them? <laughs> House hunting with us. How did I forget that? Every single week, me and Austin take random drives around Claremont, usually the same roads, and we go house hunting together. We gotta find a house anyway for, you know, if there's anything future. We might randomly have to live together at some point, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I surprised Allie and got her her favorite slushy. It's green apple. I paid for this. I lied. I just bought it because it looked good. So I'm trying this. What do you think? That's amazing. Uh, that's better than a, a, a Slurpee. These have got these little lychee jellies at the bottom. I don't know what it is, but it kind of tastes like worm. Not like tastes like worm, what? but like kind of has a texture of a worm. Like how I would imagine. Okay. Guys, Austin's not talking to me. You know you can't be mad at me right now. Threw away my drink because it was too good and you were jealous that yours wasn't as good. I threw away your drink because I care about you as a person and your health. You care about yourself and you didn't want me to have a good I job. bought you two drinks. Got a point. All right, let's get it. I'm okay now. Why did we do that? Back in the car with Elmo. What the <laughs> heck? Oh my gosh, you know I really love Austin when I start laughing at his accent. Who accents. am I, who am I, who am I? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That was you. You okay. literally just did that. Play the clip back. Okay guys, so the thing about me and Austin, since we're taking you guys house hunting with us, is we want a house that looks unique. Like, we don't want those cookie cutter houses that are basically copy paste in neighborhoods. I, I actually loved living in a neighborhood like that growing up because there were so many kids, it was really fun. But now that we're older, I kind of want our own little lot area and we want our house to look unique, but not old. It actually could look old on the outside, but modern on the inside. We want the house that you look at and it doesn't look cookie cutter, but it looks like it has cookies in it. Yes! Wait, here it is, here it is. Look at this cute little house, Austin! That's my dream. Look at that. It looks like a gingerbread. What do you like the most about that house? So when I was first looking at that house, it kind of had more of a cream color and it honestly, guys, looked like a real life gingerbread house. I love how it looks so different than everything else. Almost like it's from another country. Look at that one. Yeah, they're so unique. I love them. So this place right here, every single time we drive past it, I always tell Austin my dream would be for us to buy it and us to convert it into a root beer stand, like an old fashioned root beer stand. You come here, you get a rat fuel and a rat fuel. This is literally a perfect location for a root beer stand, is it not? This looks like where Toe Mater lives. If this video gets 2,000 likes, we're buying this thing and starting a coffee shop. 2,000? That's like for sure gonna happen. All right, let's go find our next house. Okay, pausing the house hunting to show you something you didn't know you needed. The past couple of months, I've been taking courses from Hillsdale College and I have been 
It's loving it. They offer a wide range of master classes with everything from politics to religion. I personally love their courses that link back to faith. So I've done the Exodus study. I just did the King David story. And now I'm doing C.S. Lewis's studies on Christianity, which I've always been so interested in. I've always wanted to read his books and I feel like this is a good first step. What's even cooler and this still blows my mind is that their courses are free and they're taught by the most amazing professors. For example, the course I'm doing is taught by Michael Ward, who is a leading scholar in C.S. Lewis. How is this free? If anything, I think it just shows us what Hillsdale's true heart and mission is. I believe that time and knowledge is one of our greatest gifts and powers that we have. And now that Hillsdale has offered this, there's literally no excuse why we cannot be spending our time learning instead of doom scrolling on our phones. It is all learn at your own pace. The quizzes are all optional and geared towards you learning. So if you're even curious about what their courses are like, you can go to hillsdale.edu slash alley to try one out for yourself or even just look to see what they have to offer. Like I said, there's over 40 options to choose from. That's hillsdale.edu slash alley. What do you think about that one? That one is cute. That looks like Little House on the Prairie kind of vibes. I could see our little Nino's playing outside. <laughs> Something that I recently came up with that me and Austin really want to do. This is like my dream career besides obviously doing ministry with Jay Walkers. I want to have a show that me and Austin go different places and we flip houses or we decorate them for Christmas. If this video gets 100,000 likes, I think we should go in on a house together. What do you mean? Like actually though. And like flip it and try to sell it? Yes. Like we'll, we'll start searching, like actually searching for a house to flip itself. I have a house that I actually do want to show you. Remember I'm that one? I'm not even joking. Remember that one I showed you that was up on the hill? Austin, what if we owned an inn like that? I would go in on that with you. I could totally see us being older and retiring and having a bed and breakfast right that people come. I what? said I would go in on that with you. Aww, cause it's a little inn. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. just a little yeah. cutie. But we went to St. Augustine one time and one of the coolest things there was there's tons of old vintage houses that everybody turned into bed and breakfasts. They look amazing. We would love to do that. Then we were talking about who would run it and it was like, my dad. It oh my your gosh. Your your grandparents. My grandparents and Austin's dad would be the best inn owners you could ever imagine. Your dad could cook. Dude, the my grandparents could decorate. The hospitality is off the charts. Your mom could pray. Pray, like, pray ministry. everything away. They, she, my mom will pray anything away. Okay, our first one we're looking at. First one. This one. This one. Oh, that one. That one's nice. I feel like this is giving gingerbread house. That's literally the size that Allie and I are looking for. Like, exactly the size. I want something really tiny. Tiny, cozy, but enough for us to like actually have room to grow a small family. Scale of one to ten. Ready? Wait, eight. wait, wait. I was gonna say eight. I know you were. Okay, not gonna cap. So this house was a little bit scary because of how pointy it was, but I really liked the idea of it because I feel like if we decorate it for Christmas it could be so cute and I love the yard it's got a decent amount of land too and it's got a huge pool in the back but the upstairs was really creepy it was terrifying like really really, really really scary so otherwise creepy. I honestly probably would have pushed to buy it because I think the front is so unique yeah if we painted it a different color like oh my gosh I would love 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 having this house mm -hmm. so we figured out that you can't build a house in the neighborhood that we're in unless it's something bigger than 3,000 square feet. Which honestly, I would understand if we already had kids and we needed a nursery and all of those things. But when it's just me and Austin, right when we first get married, I feel like that's a lot to maintain. Whoa, get married, what you talking about? Really, Austin? I think this is really cute. The gray is a lot, but I think you no. could turn that into something cool. If we painted this a different color, we could make this extremely cute. Me and Austin drove by this house the other day that was like our dream. Mm. It was in front of a cow field mm. and just filled with cows in front of it and you uh. turn off your engine. It was so quiet. You could hear all of the birds and everything. It was like heaven it, it was on earth. incredible. I really, really like sunlight. And if you have a house where you have tons of sunlight coming into it, I think right. it's amazing. There's nothing like waking up to the sun inside of your windows and feeling like ready and excited for the day. Yep. Almost like when like the birds are chirping, you almost feel like Cinderella, how she gets up. I feel like Cinderella every morning, you're right. I don't know who these architects were. Bro, we need a, this but is it. They were like, they were kind of hitting though. Right? Like these were all custom home designs. Like they're not. I love them. No two of them are the same, but they all have like their little. Please put it in the comments if you know what kind of houses these are. Because I, I just no love idea. them. Wait, is that, is, that one a, is that a for sale sign? Where? I'll go get it, I'll go look. Go look, go look. You know what would be so fun? Is if we all owned one of these. That would be so like fun. Like every one of us owned one of these little houses. I love it. Is it a for sale sign? 
for lease, that means you're renting it. But we could probably we could probably make an offer on it. Uh, you might need a call. Imagine Wait. that sucker. How fun would this be? That would we found be our first house when we were on this little vlog with you guys. That would be amazing. Okay, I oh, cannot believe we're calling call them right call now. Call this road almost feels like Snow White Land. I it doesn't make, feel real. I could make this look amazing. Hey, my name is Ali Shinaki. I'm looking at your property 1271 on. I honestly don't know what street this is, but it looks like a little dwarf house, and I love it. So I was wondering if me and my fiance could look at it. Um, my phone number is. Have a great day. You like that? Yo, you like that? that hey. felt nice. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like people take you more serious when you say Dude. they're engaged because they're like, oh shoot, they're looking for a house. Yeah, you know my what I'm talking fiance. about? That's nice. I like the sound of that one. Hey. Apparently not enough. <laughs> So you have like this two-sided situation here. And then if you look, it goes all the way through to a canal. Oh my gosh. That is so nice. I think this one is so cute. I love the white houses with the brown door, brown roof. Like that's very neat. Dude, this is on our lake too. Yeah, I really like that house. Oh, I like this a lot. This is a really nice front yard. I love that yeah, I they love have too. like a little fire pit right there. Right? I really actually like these houses and this area, but I wouldn't feel safe getting one of these in case our kids ran across the street. This is true. Isn't it crazy that that's the conversations we're having? And it feels good. Normal. It feels normal and, and normal. good. It feels good. As far as how many though, I have always wanted. Wait, let's say it at the same time and see if we say the same number. Okay. One, two, three, four. four. Yeah, because we both had four. Yeah. In our I, families. I, I had three siblings. You had three siblings. And I feel, I feel like it's just right. It was three girls in your family, one boy. I was the exact opposite. Three boys and one girl. I think it would be really nice to have like even amount of both. Because like I watched That's my sister. That's everyone's dream is two and two. Yeah, I know. Like I watched my sister grow up and I, I knew how much she wanted a little sister. I actually wanted a little sister too. I was actually going to comment on the one post of Noelle, but it was too, it was too sappy. I think what? of Noelle as a little sister to me so much. Aww. Because ask my whole family. My whole family really wanted a little sister. Are you serious? Yes. And she feels like that to me in my heart. And so Are I was going to call. I was like, yeah, this post is a little too sad. Like, it's, it's too sappy for this post right now. I genuinely feel like my little sisters are the biggest blessings in my life. Austin and I's dream when we do have kids is to live across the street from my parents and with Noah and Cake up in the neighborhood, raise our kids next to each other. But what I keep telling my family is that I think it's so fun to advance in life if me and Austin obviously don't want to build a 3,000 square feet house right now or we can't afford to. I think it's the beauty of life, like buying a little house and then having a kid and then moving and advancing into something that you've always wanted. No, honestly, well, think about it this way. Everything that you've enjoyed in life, you've enjoyed going step by step. That's what I think too. And so if we just get our dream house right out the gate, you're like, all right, this is where I'm staying forever. Anyway, guys, we're back in our neighborhood. Oh, hi. We're almost home. This ultimately is our dream. We drive around the long way every time and we say grace, grace, Lord. You know the desires of our hearts are to live in here with our family. So one day. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Let's shoot for it though. Your wife be making you food. Mm. Mm. Do you want to know what's on the menu? What's on the menu? A lot of love. Oh yeah. When I cook for Austin, I think to myself, what do I want to eat that I can't? And that's what I cook him. Also guys, put in the comments what you guys would like to see on this channel, because this is now Allie and I's couple channel, apparently. Yeah, right? Oh! <laughs> on the laptop! Oh my gosh! Dude, poured out all the totiros! Don't show this! We wanted to ask ChatGPT about funny questions to ask each other about our relationship. Yeah, like about like engagement season. Yeah, so let's do that. Give us 20 questions to ask our significant other before we get engaged. All right, first question, ready? What is the most absurd way you can imagine proposing if we flip in the script? What would you do if I proposed to you? Would you be upset at me? Yes. I'd right? be so sad. I'm pretty sure my mom proposed to my dad. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Wait, let me ask. Did you propose to dad? I did not propose, but we, okay, here's the story. We were having like a Bible study in his apartment. I fell asleep on the floor. He fell asleep on the couch. We have our Bibles in our laps kind of thing, right? Okay. I woke up four in the morning. I woke up with this, like in my head, like in my heart, like, oh, I want to spend the rest of my life with him it just it just was there all of a sudden and then I said I have to tell you something he's like I have to tell you something and he's like will you go first I think this feeling is like I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you and he said that's what I'm gonna say that's how it happened that's so cool 
Okay, if I were to propose to you, what would I do? I feel like I would remake our drive-in movie date and propose mm -hmm. to you somehow with that. Okay. Austin doesn't know this, but I knew quicker than I let on that he was the person I was gonna marry. I knew. God showed me for real. If we had infinite amount of connections and they asked us who would you want to perform Michael at your Bublé. wedding, would we pick Michael Bublé or Bruno Mars? Michael Bublé is like our heart, but Bruno Mars would be like so mm. fun. We'd that would be the funnest thing in the world. Michael what if they're watching this? Michael Bublé is on, their, on our first dance. Because that concert was like my most loving thing ever. I missed you so much. And then he, the song I'll never, I'll never not love you. That's me with you. How would you react if I proposed in the most awkward public place imaginable? Like where? Like a McDonald's. Are we having a really fun night? Like, yeah. is it Christmas and Can we have hot chocolate in, in our PJs? Yes. I'm in. Okay. Like, are we like randomly at a McDonald's or like, yeah, is yeah. it like the best day of our life? No, no, no. It it's matters. Like, well, no, it could be like, it could be randomly at a McDonald's, but like, you know how some of those spur in the moment things are just 10 out of 10 incredible? Some of my favorite memories with you have been when me and you are in the car with hot chocolate listening to Christmas music At of Christmas all time. time. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. What is the most outrageous excuse that you could give for not wanting to get engaged? My dog is hurt. <laughs> I gotta go walk Gatsby, I can't say yes. I gotta go walk Gatsby. I can't say yes. What would be the weirdest gift to give each other to celebrate our engagement? The weirdest gift, but Allie would 10 out of 10 love it. Ready? What? I would give you the Japanese baskets, the little hot baskets where they keep the bow buns in. Yeah. I would give you one of those full of pot stickers. I love it. You would, right? What would you get me? As an engagement present to Austin, Gatsby in a snowman costume. If this video gets 10,000 likes, we're gonna be doing a video talking about our engagement and seeing how close we are and if we're on the same page. I ain't telling you how close we are. What? Why would I tell you? What do you mean? Why, why would I tell you? Then you're gonna know. The whole point is to not know. So how am I gonna know what to wear? I actually never really cared about that. I feel like that was just such a girl thing I needed to you say, did, you know what I mean? Did. I never have my nails done either. Anyway, so stay tuned, y'all. We're gonna eat our din, din Give our friends a blessing as we leave them. For Dear the God, day. I speak a blessing over everybody watching this vlog. I command and I pray that God, you bless their families, bless their finances and everything in between in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I pray that they hit that subscribe button. Follow our family. Our family? Whoa! Get out of here. Whoa! We do things so backwards. I love y'all so much. You're chosen by God. They're great plans for your life. We're so excited to have gotten to spend today with you. It's gonna be fun to see this vlog and like actually watch it back once we have a house and we're in that season. So I love you guys. Niños. I know that's niños. I love y'all. Have a blessed night. Oh, and don't forget if you want to check out Hillsdale, go to hillsdale.edu slash Bye y'all.